Genesis chapter 3. Now the serpent was more cunning than all the wild animals the Lord God made on the earth. And he said to the woman, As God indeed said, You shall not eat from every tree of the garden. And the woman said to the serpent, We may eat the fruit from the trees of the garden, but from the fruit of the tree in the middle of the garden, God said, You shall not eat from it, nor shall you touch it, lest you die. Then the serpent said to the woman, You shall not die by death, for God knows in the day you eat from it, your eyes will be opened. And you will be like gods, knowing good and evil. So when the woman saw the tree was good for food, was pleasant to the eyes, and the tree beautiful to contemplate, she took its fruit and ate. She also gave it to her husband with her, and he ate. And the eyes of the two were opened, and they knew they were naked. So they sewed fig leaves together and made themselves coverings. And they heard the voice of the Lord God walking in the garden of the afternoon, that afternoon. And Adam and his wife hid themselves within the tree in the middle of the garden from the presence of the Lord God. So the Lord God called Adam and said to him, Adam, where are you? He replied, I heard your voice as you were walking in the garden and I was afraid because I was naked. So I hid myself. Thus he said, Who said you were naked? Have you eaten from the one tree from which I commanded you not to eat it? Then Adam said, The woman you gave me gave me of the tree, and I ate. So the Lord God said to the woman, What is this you have done? The woman said, The serpent deceived me, and I ate. Thus the Lord God said to the serpent, Because you have done this, you are cursed more than all cattle, and more than all the wild animals of the earth. On your breast and belly you shall go, and you shall eat dust all the days of your life. I will put enmity between you and the woman, and between your seed and her seed. He shall bruise your head, and you shall be on, your, on, the, on guard for his heel. To the woman he said, I will greatly multiply your pain and your groaning, and in pain you will bring forth children. Your recourse will be to your husband, and he, he shall rule over you. Then to Adam he said, Because you heeded the voice of your wife, and ate from the one tree that of which I commanded you, saying, You shall not eat from it, cursed is the ground in your labors. In toil you shall eat from it all the days of your life. Both thorns and thistles it shall bring forth for you and you shall eat the herb of the field in the sweat of your face you shall eat bread till you return to the ground from which you were taken as you are and to the earth you shall return so Adam called his wife name life because she was the mother of all living. Also for Adam and his wife, the Lord God made garments of skin and clothed them. And then the Lord God said, Behold, the man has become like one of us, to know good and evil. Now, lest he put out his hand, and take also of the tree of life, and eat and live forever. Therefore the Lord God sent him out of the garden of a pleasure to cultivate the ground from which he was taken. So he cast out Adam and made him dwell opposite the garden of pleasure. He then stationed the cherubim and the fiery sword which turns every way to guard the way to the tree of life.